For projects that utilize IP1s, connecting and programming them should take no time at all. As our first example, let's imagine we want to allow an end user to adjust the volume of a space that they're in. Start by opening up System Manager and navigating to Configure, Controllers. Select the IP1 menu and choose the slot that you'd like to program. In the Setup window, you'll see a virtual controller with two possible functions. The main function is what the rotary controls when you walk up to it and turn it. The shift function is what appears when a user clicks on the IP1's rotary to open up a second menu. For this first example, we only need to utilize the main knob function. I'll click on the white circle and then choose my function. I'll pick zone level to keep things simple. Then I can select the zone I want it to control, decide if I want to let the user see the values while they're adjusting the level, or choose to put limits on how high or low the end user can adjust the level. To virtually test the controller, I could click Open Simulation and see what it would look like and act like if I were the end user. I can even make sure I've programmed it correctly by watching the levels change inside of System Manager. When I'm confident I'm ready to go, I simply assign an IP address to this programming slot or plug in my IP1 and assign it to the slot automatically. As another example, perhaps you want to let a user toggle between a selection of sources like a handheld mic, background music, and a TV receiver. I can use an IP1 coupled with a selector. You can program your selector by navigating to Channels, Zones, and picking a selector in a given zone you'd like to program for. Then I'll click Add Sources and choose which inputs I'd like to allow the end user to toggle through. Remember, if you want these inputs to actually go to the zone, they'll have to be routed in the cross point section as well. Back in controller programming, I can now assign my shift function to be a source selector, then choose which zone I want the controller to reference. I'll make sure the zone of the main knob matches and I'm ready to go.